Hello everyone, welcome. Welcome to my studio. I'm Wendy from Wendy A. Diaz Art. And today I'd like to do a painting of the ocean. I'd like to do like the wave hitting the sand and maybe some seashells on the beach. And I don't know, like I'm totally over winter right now and I just can't wait for summer. So why don't you join me and come and paint with me? We're gonna do abstract, so you don't have to worry about um, being too technical or anything like that. Because abstract, anything goes with abstract. And um, yeah, so let's have some fun. Okay, so I have a five by seven canvas. It's uh, a canvas board that I'm using. I already toned this canvas. So I toned it in a like a light orange. Um, you don't have to tone your canvas if you don't want to. I like to do it, but whatever you prefer, okay? Okay, so we have our canvas on our Dixie, Dixie cups. Um, I put the Dixie cups down because when you work with Floetrol, it tends to flow over your canvas and I just kind of like it that way. I like to have my canvas up off of my board a little bit. So let's start. Let's start with a nice dark blue. We're going to do the ocean. We're going to I'm going to shake up my my little container. I have a little container right here and I'm just going to shake it up. And let's let's go at an angle. So I'm going to have my my wave right here and probably my land right here. So I'm going to make my ocean out here. So let's just start adding our ocean. Just start adding, put our darker pieces in. There we go. And let's see, we're going to go a little bit lighter. And you can also do this with a popsicle stick because I do that a lot too. I tend to uh, use use my popsicle sticks because I like to draw. And I probably will go back and do that. Actually, let's do that because I have them already. I actually have them already made. I got paint on myself already. And I'm just going to kind of draw this in. See what I do with my popsicle stick? And I get paint everywhere, so don't worry about it. Like I said, this is just going to be an abstract piece. So don't worry about getting like little droppings all over the place little little pieces of you know when it splats on the canvas a little bit so I'm gonna go a little bit lighter again and I like to mix my paint because if I have flow trawl in here I like to kind of mix it around so let's make our waves there we go just gonna go and kind of make it at an angle right now. Yeah, I like that. And let's bring in a lighter blue. I like the lighter blue when it mixes too. Yeah, we'll just show a little bit of the lighter blue out here. And then we'll put it in here too because our wave's gonna come in and it's gonna be crashing on our beach. And you know, this is when you can start being creative. This is when you're like, oh, I think I want it to look like this or, or oh, I like this color. I love this color. This color is so great, especially like in your ocean scenes and stuff. This is like a, um, Tur turquoise it's like a it's like a blue green and I love this color especially when I make my oceans when I make my abstract oceans this is such a great color there we go and we're just going to go right to that corner so don't be afraid to go right into that corner there we go I love that. That's looking pretty good. Okay, and now we're gonna do, I'm gonna use a little bit of the lime green. 
because if you ever notice the ocean when when the ocean starts the waves start to come in there's like different colors of um like a little bit of green in your ocean we go and we'll put it right through the blue too there I like that okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start building my sand and so I'm just gonna run some brown right along here there we go You know, if you want to put your your paints in in a little bottle like I did in the beginning, you can. If it makes it a little bit easier for you, you can do that. There. There we go. And I'm going to add a little bit of black in here too. Just gonna add it right along the brown because we're gonna add, we're gonna add our white in here, and then you're gonna see how I kind of take my popsicle stick and I mix it just a tad bit. Okay, so we've we've got that in, and actually I'm gonna put in a little bit of sand right here before I put my white. My there we go. looking pretty good yeah I'm just kind of putting this in with the side of my popsicle stick just so I can I can cover it actually let's just put it right in because we're gonna we're gonna keep building on top of this. I'll probably end up um, putting some um, grasses and things like that in here too. Oh, I can't wait for the beach. It's my favorite place to be. Okay, so we have that in. And now we're gonna take our white, make sure you mix it mix it really well and then we're just gonna kind of draw it you know how like the the waves come in and they kind of come up a little bit and they crash there we go and don't worry see how I just dripped it a little bit that's not a big deal and just do it in a circular motion because the ocean moves okay and you want you want it to look like it's moving you want those waves to be moving on all that foam. I'm gonna take this a little bit and I'm gonna bring my white out here. I'm gonna make a little bit of a wave out here. There we go. We'll make another one. Yeah, that looks really great. See, the waves are coming in. I love it. And let's make a little one right here. Make another one there. That looks fantastic. I love that. Now, what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to take a piece of paper towel because I'm going to have to wipe off my, my popsicle stick. And I'm going to wipe down my popsicle stick. And now I'm just going to take my wave and kind of make it go up and make it come down and kind of crash. There we go. There, that looks nice. I like that. And don't forget to wipe off your popsicle stick because otherwise you'll contaminate your white. You don't want to do that. Okay. Um, that looks fantastic. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of that blue and I'm going to make the water kind of come in and out here too. So let's do that. Let's pretend that the water is coming in crashing in onto the sand as we always see the water kind of do that and and then the foam remember 
And we're gonna do that. Little, little pieces of the water. Yeah, I like that. And then we'll, we'll add the white. Oops. We'll add the white in here too. So that's our foam coming in on the water. There, that looks amazing. I love this. See, you just want to just kind of go with what you feel. That's what painting's all about. Oops, I just moved my canvas, sorry. Okay, so we've got that. How about if we add, I'm gonna add a little bit of coral in with our sand a little bit. Let's just kind of add a little bit of that in. We'll lighten our sand just a tiny bit. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay, we've got that. And I want to add just a little bit of brown here and there because I want the shadow of our water. Because water just doesn't sit on the sand. It has like a little shadow to it. So let's just take our popsicle stick just a little bit and start adding a little bit of a shadow in there. That looks good, that looks so good. Okay, so we need to put in our shells. And I'm actually, I think I'm gonna use like a yellow and then I'll build on top of that actually. So let's put a little bit of a shell right here. And we'll do another one right here. And what I'll, what I'll end up doing is, um, let's see, we'll put a little bit of brown underneath it so it looks like the sand, like they're buried in the sand a little bit. So we're gonna, actually, I'm going to take one of these, okay? And see if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. So this is like a skewer and I can draw with this. So I'm gonna go in here with my brown and just kind of draw just a little bit. So it looks like it has a little shadow there. And we're gonna add different colors onto that yellow because shells aren't really yellow. There. And see how I'm drawing? I just kind of draw a little bit. Yeah, that looks nice. And we'll just rinse that off. Take your paper towel and just wipe it off. And let's see. Let's kind of draw a little bit with our gray. And we'll put a little bit of like ridges in There we go. There we go, that looks nice now. We're getting there. Just put your little ridges in. You know, like all the shells have ridges. There, that looks nice. They kind of look like snails now, <laughs> but that's okay. We're gonna take a little white to them and we're gonna whiten them up just a little bit so that they kind of look like shells. They're getting there. See, this is what painting's all about. You you have to play. You just, you have to keep playing. Yeah. And do you ever see shells, like sometimes they're kind of bluish a little bit too. That's what I like about the beach. They come in all different colors. Like all the shells and, you know, all the creatures of the ocean. Yeah, that's not too bad. So let's add a little bit of sand in here, just a tiny bit to just kind of break that up a little bit. There. See how you can draw with this stick? I love this. I'm just gonna put this right in with this. 
There we go. And you know what? Maybe we'll bring we'll bring a little blue into this area too. So that it shows that the water is kind of still receding in and out. There we go. Yeah, that looks really nice. All right, so what else should we do? I think we should, actually, we should highlight this just a little bit. Let's put some highlights in here. There we go. That looks nice. Yeah, so you know what you're looking at. Everybody knows what they're looking at right now. I, I can see it. There. All right. Now, what I'd like to do, I know, I just, I love, I love to play. This is my problem sometimes because I can play too much. I'm going to bring this up and really look like it's the wave. And remember, you still have to wipe off your stick, especially because it's it's white. And just let that. Actually, I'm gonna bring a little bit into here. Whoops. And put a little white out here too, just a tiny bit. There, that's the ocean way out there way out there all right what else should we do i think we should add a little bit of that turquoise just a tiny bit let's play let's see what we can get away with there we go we'll just add this right in the blue it's like i said it's not always blue it's not always that light blue you've got that green mixed in with the water you know especially when you're coming up uh, close to the shore you've got all different colors and, and it really depends on where you live I mean if you live in Florida it really here we go let's mix some of that in there mix that in with the with the wave and yeah we're looking pretty good actually I love this. I needed this today. It's just so cold here. And it just doesn't want to quit either. I thought by now it would quit the winter weather. Some people really, I mean, I like to ski. I used to like to ski, but I don't really like it anymore. <laughs> I don't really like to, to be out in the cold anymore. Okay. So we have that. So let's let's be a little daring, okay? I like to be a little daring. So I'm going to add a little bit of grass. And I'm just going to drizzle it, almost like a Jackson Pollock, remember? We're just going to kind of fling it right here in the corner. Just to show you a little bit of that grass peeking through. Yeah, there we go. Because you know when you go down by the ocean, sometimes you have a little bit of that grass. And just let it run right off the side. There we go. We'll cover, we'll cover our edges. Nice. Oh, I like that. That looks great. Okay, so we have that. So let's add, let's add our darker blues in with the grass because... You always have a little bit of the darkness to the grass. There we go. Oh, this is looking pretty good, actually. I'm really enjoying this. This is what I love to do. I love to play. I love to find out what colors mix together well. And, um, you know, oh, that looks so cool. All right, so we have that. And let's add, well, let's add a light blue in there in with our grass. 
just just because <laughs> I, ooh, that was a little too much here we go okay we have that and now let's add just a tiny bit of yellow just to brighten that area up ooh. there now that looks pretty good actually we're doing pretty good um we can see our shells i like that actually i think i might add another shell should i add another shell i think i might i don't know let's add a rock let's add a tiny bit of a rock we'll add a rock right here There we go. It's kind of a big rock, but that's okay. And so we have a rock. So let's add our gray to our rock. There we go. Yeah. That looks nice. And now we're going to add our brown underneath our rock because remember, we have shadows. So let's add our brown in. Let's see if we can draw that in without getting too sloppy. There. Sometimes I get too ambitious. And I don't know when to stop sometimes. <laughs> you know, it happens. It happens. It's okay. It's not a big deal. Let's add a little brown here and there. There we go. Now we're starting to look like, yep, that is, that's our rock. It's actually starting to look pretty good. We're drawing that right out. There we go. And you know what we can do? We can add a little bit of white around it. So it looks like the foam is actually coming out around the rock a little. There. Yeah. Not bad. We're doing pretty good. All right. I like that. That looks amazing. Yep, yeah, that's that looks really good. Let's add a little bit of highlights to this rock, just a tiny bit. There. That looks pretty cool. I know what it is. I like it. Okay. I would like to put some flowers in here actually in my grass. So I'm just going to dab and we're going to add some roses. You know, like sometimes um, you go to the beach and you see those nice little flowers in the grass. You see the roses. right up here too usually the roses are kind of low I think they are anyway we'll add our our red in first and then we'll put some pink over it yeah, this is looking really nice yeah I think three is good. Three's good. Okay, we'll wipe that off. And now let's get our pink and we'll put a little bit of pink in there. Just a dot. Cause this is, remember this is Floetrol. So Floetrol kind of mixes in with each other and it just, it's so nice. It just kind of flows. So that's why I love it. 
Okay, and I'm going to take my stick and I'm just going to kind of move this a little bit. Move that paint off of that. There we go. That paint was a little bit thick on the edge. There. And then I'm going to take it. Actually, let's take a little bit of that darker blue. Let me just add that in just a tiny bit. See if I can add that in. You never know with me. See, I keep going. I like, I like the darkness when you add that in. There, yeah, that looks nice. And I think I want to do one more thing. I'm not quite sure what it is. Maybe we'll just kind of, there we go. We'll make our grasses kind of come up. There. Yeah. That looks better. That looks nice. See what I mean about this stick? I love this stick. It's it's amazing. Especially when you're doing your artwork, you can really draw with it. All right, let's do that. Let's bring that those waves right into that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. What do you think, everybody? I think we did a good job. Let's add a little bit more white into here so we can make that wave kind of, kind of come up and around. Oh, this made me feel so much better today. I hope it made you feel better. Painting always makes me feel better. There we go. That looks amazing. Yep, that looks really, really great. Let's see if we can do it. I don't want to like a big blob. That's my problem. Oop. I just want to highlight. That's all I'm looking for. Oh, I covered my rose. That's okay. I can put it back. Very nice. Okay, everybody. There we go. That is our ocean wave crashing down. And we have our beach and we have a few pieces of uh, grass. And yeah, I'm loving this. All right, everybody, it's the next day and my painting has dried. And so I'm gonna bring it right up to the camera so that you can see all the beautiful detail in this painting. I just love how this painting came out. Look at the ocean. Isn't that just gorgeous? Love, love these paints. So like and subscribe because that helps me out so much. I really, really appreciate it when you guys do that. And um, I'll see you next time. All right. I can't wait. Bye, everybody.